Hey my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm here today to do a double review, uh, do a review of a product called the Presto Pizza Plus Rotating Pizza Oven. This is what uh, my friend Timothy Lorden sent me last week. And I plugged it in and I hooked up, there's like a little thing you hook this up to and it automatically starts spinning. There's no heat coming to it though. And there's a heating, uh, heating element above and a heating element below here. And it has a timer. It has a, like a thing that says dual or lower or upper. And I they, I once said they used the dual, so you, it cooked with both things. Okay. Now I don't. I'm just curious. I plugged in. I don't know if it's automatically supposed to start spinning like that. There's no start start switch. And on this, I'm going to be making uh, Mama Cozy's thin crust sweet potato barbecue. Recipe chicken sausage pizza. Can't remember how much this was. Barbecue sauce, sliced chicken, sausage, cilantro, and red onion. I mean, it's at nighttime, so it's lots of shadow. It's late uh, Saturday night. I'm going to make this. So I'm going to put the pizza on, and I'm going to uh, set the, put the settings on. Because there's a timer on there. I already have it on dual, so I'm going to keep it on there. Put the pizza on there, and I'll set the timer. Okay, I put the pizza on there, and it says, like, 400, but whatever temperature it says, I set the timer. It says, like, 50 to 70 minutes or until cheese in the center is melted and crust is going brown. So I'm going to put this on uh, 15, 12, up, right there, I think. Is that how you do it, I think? Let's see if they'll cook it. I think it's how, is this, no it's not a starter button, so let's see if this will start to heat up, I think it is, I'm going to put this on, Six. no it's starting to heat up now, okay, now the one thing I have a question now, is this supposed to start turning uh, whenever you plug it in, I don't want to think, they say before and after use, make sure you unplug it, that's my biggest question right there. I never used this before. Now, I hear it cooking right now. And uh, see if it cooks it good. Uh, 14 minutes. And 9, 12. Or, yeah, product cooking time for dual 12 to 15 minutes. So I got it on 14. So we'll see what happens. Then we'll be back. Okay, I just uh, answered my own question. It says, plug the unit in, the motor will turn on, and the baking pan will begin to rotate. I already set it down. And like you see, you see the above, above heating unit, baking pan, pan hub curl, and the drive shaft, and the lower element tray. And I put it on for dual, so both the top and lower thing will be uh, cooking. Oh, wow. Okay, I see it. I see it red hot now. Okay. But yeah, but make sure you uh, unplug it as soon as you're done using it. And they cool down. Awesome. Now you see right here, it's getting really hot. Now it says when the cheese is melting and bubbling, be close to getting done. And I have like uh, 10 more minutes or something like that. But I mean, it's cooking really good underneath and underneath here too. I don't want to mess with it too much. You see underneath the thing too. So when it's bubbling and stuff, I'll take it off and we'll cut up and we'll try it out. But I mean, I answered my own question because it freaked me out. I didn't know if it was supposed to start, start turning whenever you uh, first plugged it in. That's my biggest thing, but it is, so that's cool. Alright, I'll be back. Just sorry, filming at night time. Okay, the timer just shut off. It made a little ding sound. I'm going to uh, unplug uh, the machine. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take my oven mitt take this off and slide it on the plate as I said don't remove it with bare hand because it's probably pretty hot which would be really dumb okay it's unplugged looks pretty done okay there right here get it cut up and then we'll review it cool okay now here's the finished pizza it's a thin crust and a thin crust made with sweet potato Barbecue recipe, chicken sausage pizza. You can definitely smell the barbecue sauce. It looks, it's very hot. It looks like it cooked it very evenly now. Because sometimes at the, in the 
air fryer, the little one, it seems that they kind of looks so burnt. But I mean, it looks pretty evenly cooked. Let's try it out. Mmm. Not bad pizza. I like the big pizza sausage. This might be about four or five bucks. I don't know whether it said chicken sausage. Oh, chicken sausage. I meant chicken and sausage. Okay, chicken sausage. Okay, I got that. I'm going to let this cool down for a little bit. Yeah, another pizza cutter. Um. I just use a butcher knife to cut this, but I need a pizza cutter. I had one. I had two. I don't know what happened to them. Yeah, this cooked it really well. And when I say I don't mean it overcooked, it cooked it where a pizza should be cooked. I said, like, I said, it makes a little dinging sound. Make sure to unplug it. And there it is right here. As if you want to over uh and then on the instructions said like I cook with both dual with both upper and lower things. If you want it said if you want to make a crispier crust crust press lower and then if you want uh Above stuff, cook more, hit, hit upper. But, cooked it pretty good. I don't think it was a bad pizza either. I think the barbecue sauce is only okay. I used on here. I taste a little bit of sweetness in the crust, so I probably worked it with the barbecue sauce. Got a sweet potato. Oh no, I get the pizzazz. Rotating pizza co uh, cooker, ten out of ten. Now it was put on fourteen. It's pretty much the desired length I wanted to go. And then like thirty seconds later, I heard a ding. I'd make sure to unplug it and like cool down. Um, make sure you have oven mitt ready to slide it off the pan when you take it off. The biggest problem with that is just putting, and then the guy said on the video too, because I've seen a video about it, is putting like that thing on that little needle to spin it. Aside from that, I mean the pizza itself is... Maybe 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. The Pesto Pizzazz Pizza, uh, Rotating Pizza Oven, I get that 10 out of 10. That's wonderful. Thank you, Timothy, my buddy, for sending to me. I know it took me a little while to get to it, but I had so many videos I did with my sister, and then John came over. I were done, I'm doing it Saturday, tonight, Saturday night. Um, I will give it a proper, give him big pieces of uh, sausage on it. Mm. 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 That sausage is good. I'm going to have an 8 out of 10 for a Mama Cozy sweet potato thin crust barbecue recipe chicken sausage pizza. And a 10 out of 10 for the Presto Pizzazz rotating pizza oven. It's awesome. Hope you liked the video, everybody. Till next time, please. Take care, my legion. Yeah, I'm going to change my... After, like, eating more, I think the sweet potato and the crust and the, and the barbecue sauce is just overall too sweet after a while. I want to knock my review from 8 down to a... Mm, a very mild 7. So, I hope you liked the video, everybody. Till next time, please. Take care, my legion. But the product itself is a 10 out of 10. Just make sure you unplug it and use, like, um... 
I've been missing stuff like that because they get, I mean, it gets really hot like a hot plate. I mean, it gets hot big time. But I cooked it just the way, I mean, just use the thing on the back. It's like, you know, the time and just set the timer. It works pretty good. So if you like the video, buddy, till next time, please take care. Jason Callen, your YouTube channel kicks ass. Everyone should go and subscribe to Jason freaking Callen, the hot sauce king, pin of them all. Yeah.